Hi, my name is Bob Knopf, Senior Product Marketing Manager here at Polycom's Video Solutions Group. And today, I'm going to take you out of box with Polycom's QDX 6000. I'm going to show you just how simple it is to connect your QDX 6000 to your monitor and make your first video conference call. The very first thing you'll notice about the QDX 6000 when you unpack things, it's going to come with a quick start guide. One side of the card has the basic setup, and if you flip the card over, you'll see an optional setup with other video inputs and outputs. The quick start card will be your guide and reference as you're connecting your system. When you receive your QDX 6000 and you're ready to install, you'll find that you have all the cables necessary for a quick and simple installation. The very first thing you want to do is find the component video cables. The component video cable has three RCA connections on, on one end of the cable and three RCA connections on the other side of the cable. They're marked with a red, green, and blue tip. So we'll go ahead and plug first into the QDX6000 to the component output. Then we'll move over to the monitor and plug the same cables into the monitor inputs. Remember, green, blue, and red. It's very important that you have the correct colors plugged into the coordinating uh, inputs on the monitor. Now that you have your monitor connected, let's go ahead and plug the audio cable in so you'll be able to hear the people on the far end. You first start out by going into the line out ports on the QDX6000 and you'll take your other connections and plug them in directly to the monitor or TV. Your next step is to go ahead and plug in the QDX microphones. We have supplied you with two microphones that will be used in order so you can pick up stereo surround audio. On the back of the QDX, you'll find two microphone ports. Simple as pushing the cable in and hearing it snap. For your microphone setup, we do recommend having a wide spread between the two microphones. Your next step is to plug in the QDX Eagle Eye camera. With this, you'll find the QDX Eagle Eye camera cable has an HDCI connection on one end, which will be plugging into the camera, and has a Y split on the other end of the cable that's going to plug directly into the back of the QDX6000. So let's go ahead and do that. So first off, we plug into the back of the QDX Eagle Eye camera. Make sure your connections are tight and screwed in. Then we'll take the other end and plug that into the QDX6000 back panel you'll notice that there are two ports that say camera. They fit perfectly with the, the connectors that we're putting in. You're almost ready to go. Your next step is to connect the QDX6000 to your network using the enclosed LAN connection cable. Your final step is to supply power to the unit. Now that you have your cables plugged in and the power turned on, let's go ahead and put the batteries in the remote control. The first time you power on your QDX6000, you'll be welcomed by a boot up sound and then you'll come to the very first screen which is the language screen. You'll want to go ahead and choose your language of choice. Your languages can always be changed at a later time. The welcome screen will give you some very important information. It will give you your current IP address as well as your full serial number of the QDX6000. The system will prompt you to enter a system name. You can do this by simply entering a name very much like you would text on a cell phone. Once you have your system name in place, you'll want to move on to the next screen. On the LAN properties page, you'll need to enter your IP address information. By default, we will try to obtain an IP address automatically. However, using the simple drop-down box, you can also enter an IP address manually. The next screen is a security screen. To get into the administration menus, you may want to use an admin password. In this case, it would be your full serial number of your unit. That is by default. However, this can easily be changed or removed completely. Once again, if you do not want to have an admin password set up immediately, do not enter a security password here. Congratulations, you've completed the out-of-box configuration for your QDX6000. When you hit the next button, 
the system will restart. Hi, Laura. I just got my QDX 6000 installed. The video looks great. Congratulations. And that's all there is to it, to using the Polycom QDX 6000 video conferencing system. In just a few minutes, we were able to get the system unboxed, plugged in, and we've made our first call. Enjoy your Polycom QDX 6000, and if you have any questions whatsoever or are looking for additional information, please visit www.polycom.com. Thank you and have a great day.